really following these in today's world where people are filled with greed? Greed is the core reason why we are still suffering from cruelty, suppression, poverty and inequality. The rich get richer while the poor get poorer. Did the words come from the Lord reach anyone? No, it hasn't. Men continue to destroy one another in the name of war and politics. Allah did not teach one to kill innocent people. Then why there is so much anger and terrorism in the name of religion? All religious texts have preached only about peace and love. Then why has terrorism, poverty and hatred prevailed? We can say that all religious teachings have failed to bring peace and love among their disciples. On the other hand, technology has boomed to an impressive level. However, each such innovation and technology has failed to restore peace in the world. Technology could not bring about any changes in the lives of the people and society. So the question now is, what is that supreme knowledge that is beyond spirituality and science that can bring about change and awareness in people to live in peace and attain eternal happiness? The answer perhaps is skillful combination of science and spirituality. Knowledge beyond science and spirituality can alone bring about world peace. We can explain that by observing the solar system and the human body. All the celestial bodies like the sun, moon and the planets have two poles, the north pole and the south pole. Similarly, the human body has seven chakras and the third eye. We are all spiritual beings with a physical body. Our spiritual structure is connected to all invisible energies of solar system and other invisible spiritual beings. All beings in this world are a part of supreme being. Thus, only a person who connects his soul to the supreme being can attain the eternal peace and bliss. An individual who thinks beyond his religious circle and concentrates on the bigger picture can alone bring about world peace. Similarly, a person who can implement his scientific knowledge beyond his personal research can help the world attain peace and unity. The above concept is also explained by Sri Prabhupada, founder of ISKCON temple, in his book titled Atma Sakshatkara Vijnana. Our aim should be to recognize a new system of spiritual knowledge that enlightens the modern generation in understanding salvation. Who is that person who can achieve this? Who is that who can enlighten this world? It's none other than 